Hi, I'm Alexandre Jenny and I will present you a sneak preview of Autopano Gear 3.5. This version aim is dedicated about quality of stitching and more cases done automatically without having you about to cope about control point and stuff like that. It just works better out of the box on more cases than before and with better quality at the end. So we did work on two parts, detect, detection engine and optimization engine. So first the detection engine has been changed. We change everything in, automat in an automatic mode so we can prepare uh, the, the good setting depending on the panorama type you have. And this is how it works. For example, multiple focal lens panorama now is better handling than before and you just click detection and it just works out of the box better than with any other version of Photopano. And if you look in detail in these cases, it's just small images embedded into big images with perfect uh, control point generation. Second case, even if you don't have any EXIF information, you can retrieve uh, focal lens quite accurately this is an example of uh, a flat scan and it just works perfectly. Everything is really aligned and nothing moves anymore in these cases. Third case is because we changed the detection uh, model, we can also do stuff that were not possible before. This is an example of uh, fisheye lenses stitched together automatically with rectilinear lenses. So rectilinear and fisheye, just put them all together, click detection, and it works. We can detect control tone between different types of lenses. And here you can see the rectilinear and the fisheye embed one into each other. This is quite nice. This is point one, detectivity improvement, and you can see the automatic mode that makes that possible. Second aspect of the change in Autopano Giga 3.5 is optimization. We did work a lot into this part to be able to get you really perfectly pixel accurate stitching in most cases. Here one uh, just a standard 15 millimeter fisheye a typical VR quark and when you look at the line in this kind of image you expect them to be aligned it just doesn't move just move uh, uh, below the pixel it's it's really sharp everywhere and even with complicated cases so that was possible by revamping the optimization uh, engine. Here's another example. Uh, it can take some time to, to stitch because uh, as we make now uh, a different decision than before to be able to to be more close to the... Uh, nothing is moving here. And if you look closely, you can even now reveal that there were, for example, in this example, some parallax issues, just I go to 100%, you can see some parallax issues that are now visible because the optimizer is so accurate that it weighs now the, the, the setting. It, it's not really uh, important but because it, it can be corrected easily with the Antigos technology, but now we can see stuff that uh, we were not able to see before. Third example, another VR work. It just works super well, even in complicated situations with nights, stuff like that. The detectivity of Photopano is still there, but now it has been raised to a new level, as we can see stuff that are really uh, super uh, complicated to see. Uh, another example of that is short fo linear focal lens. Always a bit complicated to stitch because they have the heavy distortion. So is that okay, without any exif, we found the right focal lens and we found the right distortion. So even 
on this kind of cases where it has moving object, a bit of parallax, uh, everything is really nice uh, uh, in this one, in this panorama, just out of the box. Uh, another example here. This is uh, this is an example done with a Ver Drive too by one of our customer. It's now f better than in previous version. And you can really see that uh, the straight line on the on the roof are perfectly uh, stitched together, no problem anymore there. And globally, one two uh, two uh, two dot five as a RMS globally on a lot of uh, control points. This is really 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 good uh, achievement. As you make uh, some uh, dedicated uh, change in the detection and in the optimizer, we can now do some stuff that are really nice to have. This is an example of a live panel. So, fisheye lenses use uh, the camera use as uh, image uh, shots and use in video mode. So, for the still image, you have a fisheye that is well set, but for the extract for the frame. You don't have any information, so you just need to say this one is also fisheye because you shot the video using fisheye. So you have two different types of fisheye here. Everything is regrouped automatically and stitched automatically together. So let me highlight that because this is quite nice. Detection, lens correction. Look now at the result. First the result, um, if you look at the frame extract from the video, it doesn't have the same field of view. It's really a bit larger, that's what you expect, because most of the camera when shooting in video mode, they don't use the whole uh, sensor, um, sensor area, just a small part of it, and you can see the change in that. And what is really cool in our, in our cases, is that we found that automatically and every parameters of the optimization has been regrouped automatically so several image have a 174 degree focal length um, degree in field of view so a, a 14 millimeter focal length and we detect automatically that the order coming from the video has its own stuff and the optimizer detect everything alone and so make group of optimization one for uh, all the uh, still image and one for the video and that's why the result is really good we can detect that and we stitch only the parameters that are needed we calculate only days and it gets really a good 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 result out of the box second case with that live panel again i just need to the the last say it's still fisheye. This is the a parameter I cannot detect alone for the moment. So this is the live panel. Just look at it. So everything is stitched perfectly of course, but if you look at the frame it's really nicely registered with the background. So it, it's really good. And if you look at the optimization setting, again, two groups have been uh, detected and it works pretty well out of the box. So as uh, the optimizer has been revamped, we also it also allows us to have new features like this one. I really found it really cool. So this is an old example we have in our huge uh, test case sample. It works quite well, it was good, and if you look at the stitch, oh, and nothing is moving, it works really well, but uh, because we change our optimizer, uh, it doesn't give as good RMS as we expected for this case. And when you look at the bottom, we saw this kind of zoom factor, you can see it this way, it's like, oh my god, the Nadir has been perhaps handheld uh, 
and handheld taken and that's what we see when you see the feet of the guy uh, there for example so this is a case where you would expect to have multiple viewpoints only on a single image you just do this way Opt optimize viewpoint of this image local optimize this image bam all the RMS come from 3.5 to 2.7 and if you look again everything is super nice and works really well now so this was some of the uh, some of the sneak peek that I wanted to share with you before Christmas uh, Autopanogiga will soon launch uh, the beta phase it will be during January that you can test that out uh, freely of course thank you for listening bye bye